evening, everyone, and thanks for joining me today in Sealy Kitchen one more time. So, guys, today I'll be making a special type of chop suey. Now, in Jamaica, we make chicken chop suey. We use beef and we make chop suey. You know, the Chinese in Jamaica. So, I decided to put a twist to chop suey. Nobody has ever done salmon chop suey. So, today... I am making salmon chop suey for dinner. So stay tuned, like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Okay guys, so I've already chopped up my salmon in little small cubes. And I'm using today wild caught coho salmon filet. So what I did with the filet, I cut it in cubes and um, I washed it with my lemon and it's clean so now I'm gonna add my magic seafood seasoning by chef Paul and this is my favorite seasoning guys okay and to this I'm also gonna add some paprika And of course, my Mrs. Dash. So I'm gonna dash a little bit of Mrs. Dash. So guys, I'm gonna rub this in and I'm using my hands today, I'm not using gloves. Cause you know, sometimes some things require just our bare hands. So I'm using my bare hands to season my salmon today. Of course, my hands are washed. So I'm rubbing this up guys and I'm gonna let this sit for 20 minutes to marinate because you can't just season and then cook you have to leave things to get marinated so I'll be back um, in 20 minutes to brown it in my oil and then I will continue with my chop suey okay guys so I'm starting um, with some grapeseed oil in my frying pan so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna be browning the salmon so it could get some color because I don't want to just put a blast salmon um, in my chop suey so I'm gonna start out by adding little pieces to my hot oil so as soon as these are brown then I'm gonna grab my wok and then I'm gonna spin my chop suey in that wok Turn my fan on to take out some of the excess smoke. Yeah. Okay, guys, so as you can see, um, my salmon is already brown. I'm just turning them in the frying pan. So as soon as they're done, I'm going to take them out. And then I'm gonna get my wok to start cooking my salmon chop suey. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so I'm adding some garlic butter to some brown basmati rice. And I'll be steaming some brown basmati rice as a side dish along with my, to my salmon um, chop suey. So I'm putting this to boil. Okay guys, so I'm adding some grapeseed oil to my wok. And I'm gonna start out by sauteing. Okay guys, so I'm adding some onions and some thyme to my wok. And I'm sauteing some onions um, and some oil. And then I'm gonna add some vegetable mix. I'm gonna be adding um, some cauliflower, pieces of broccoli, pieces of string beans, and peppers and carrots.
get everything out of this bowl. I'm going to stir frying this for a couple of seconds. Guys, my wok is so big, I can flip my vegetables. So I have to stir with a wooden spoon. And next, I'm gonna be adding some bok choy. So this is about three heads of bok choy that I'm adding. So I'm stirring this in with my wooden spoon. And then to this, I'm gonna add some garlic. So I have about five cloves of garlic that I'm gonna put through my garlic press. So I'm adding pieces of garlic and wow, in this chop suey. Because you know, garlic adds great flavor to vegetables. So let me take what's crushed inside. Good. some more inside. so I'm mixing that in okay so guys isn't this looking great already shredded Chinese cabbage that I'm going to add to this mix. All right, so while I'm stirring, I am going to season my vegetables. So I'm starting out with some garlic powder. I used real garlic and I'm also gonna be using some garlic powder. And then of course, I'm using Grace Vegetable Seasoning by Grace. And this adds great flavor to your steamed veg, guys. You should try. And of course, I'm gonna dash with a little Mrs. Dash. Guys, isn't this looking so pretty in the pot? I can't wait. I really can't wait to devour this. Yeah. And now that it's almost cooked, I'm going to add my pieces of ground salmon. So I'm mixing this in, guys, and isn't this looking great? Isn't this looking great? Yeah. Chop suey salmon. Yes. Yard food with a twist. So to all my viewers and subscribers out there, you have to like up the video, y'all. Yeah? And share it up with your friends because I'm sure you've never seen anything like this and this is a hell of a chop suey guys hubby and I can't wait to devour so guys just to add a little more flavor 
to this, I'm going to add a little adobo. So I'm adding a little adobo, you know, just for additional flavor. Just for additional flavor. Look at this, guys. Isn't this looking good? And last, I'm going to add some roasted corn. So I have pieces of roasted corn that I made prior to starting this dinner. So I've also added it to the mix. I mean, this is optional, but I want to add it to my mix because I love corn. And this is sweet corn, guys. So you're gonna have a chopped suey flavor, a, a sweet corn flavor. Oh my God. So many different tastes, but it's gonna be good. I can't wait to devour this meal, guys. And isn't it looking great? Yeah. Let me turn on my rice pot. So guys, I'm gonna leave this for about five minutes because I don't wanna overcook my, my vegetables. Cause you know, if vegetables are overcooked and it doesn't have that little crunch in it, it's not gonna be tasty. So I'm going to leave this and cover this for about five minutes. And then I'm gonna come back and then I'm ready for display as soon as my rice is boiled. Okay guys? So guys, here you have it. Salmon chop suey at its best. I tasted it guys, it's so, so, so delicious. So if you like this, video today I want you to like share and subscribe to our YouTube channel thanks for joining and have a great day